Tuesday in Ceuta and still they kept coming. Some had swum around the border fences sticking out into the Mediterranean Sea or used rubber dinghies. Others simply walked across at low tide. One young man's known to have drowned, dozens have been treated for hypothermia. The adults were transferred to Ceuta's main football stadium, but those thought to be minors were sent to warehouses run by the Red Cross and other groups. The Spanish government's now sending 400 extra troops and police to boost Ceuta's border force while appealing for calm. The last thing a migratory and humanitarian crisis of this nature needs is for political leaders to show hatred or fear. We therefore call on everyone, responsibility, prudence and a sense of order. Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez has cancelled a trip to Paris for a summit on international aid to Africa. Instead, he's travelling to Ceuta, which is separated from Morocco by a 10-metre-high fence. Meanwhile, Madrid's dismissed suggestions the sudden rise in migrant arrivals is linked to a diplomatic row. Last month, Morocco reacted angrily when it emerged that Brahim Ghali, the head of the Polisario Front, had been allowed into Spain for COVID-19 treatment. The Algeria-backed group has fought for decades for Western Sahara's independence from Morocco. Analysts had warned the row over Ghali could push the Moroccan government to limit cooperation over illegal migration and other issues. Brussels is now urging it to stop any more people trying to reach Spanish territory. The most important thing now is that Morocco continues to commit to prevent irregular departures and that those that do not have the right to stay are orderly and effectively returned. Spain says it is expelling all those who've entered Ceuta illegally, but it's not clear if that applies to unaccompanied migrants under 18 who are usually allowed to remain. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.